All right. Um, as far as the injuries go, Nick Bolton um, has a dislocated wrist. So they're working on that uh, now, and we'll see how he does. He, he really had a heck of a game up to that point, though. Um, the fans were, were incredible. Uh, what a day in Arrowhead. Beautiful day, first of all. And then you had a, the noise there with um, the, the Chargers having to use a couple timeouts and illegal procedures and so on that they had going against them. Uh, congratulations to Dante Hall, too, for um, going into the Hall of Fame and all the alums that were back here. We love having you all back and, um, and supporting the, the, the Chiefs. Uh, listen, the second half for, uh, from our defensive standpoint was a shutout. Uh, Spags is uh, doing a, a great job with, with, with design, and the players are playing their hearts out. Um, I give credit to all the coaches there on the defensive side, but um, when you have a shutout going against that crew, that's quite a deal. Um, batted balls all, uh, all over the place. Charles O'Minihue, it was great to get him back in, in the mix here, or back in, the, just in the mix. He never was in it, so um, it, was a, it was a good deal there. He had a sack and, um, again, a block throw. Uh, four sacks by our defense was tremendous. Um, and the list keeps going on, right? So responded after the turnovers. Uh, beautiful job there. Um, offensively, uh, a good day. I mean, a real good day. Uh, again, uh, Matt Nagy puts together the game plan. Um, it, was, it was a beautiful, beautiful game plan. I really, that defense is, uh, is special with some of the, the players that they have there. And, um, and their head coach is calling the plays, and he's a he's a heck of a coordinator and head coach. But he also knows exactly what he's doing on the uh, with the defense. So <clears throat> with that, uh, Pat um, had obviously a, a big day with over 400 yards. Um, Kelsey keeps getting better with time. Um, um, Taylor can stay around all she wants. Um, <clears throat> uh, Rasheed Rice. I mean, we've we've witnessed this now. I mean, you're watching him grow right in right in front of us here. And, um, and, and then Quez, the old man of the group, he, he had a big day today. And uh, uh, the third down percentage, anytime you can be six for 11 on third downs with the pass rushers that they have uh, is something. And that tells you that your offensive line did a pretty good job. So uh, Andy Heck and his crew really uh, did well. But I thought all the offensive coaches likewise had a, had a nice day. Dave Tobe. Uh, had a plan for McColl, and uh, the guys blocked their hearts out for him, and and he busted that punt out. That was a huge play, and then he came back and had a big catch. So, welcome back, McColl. And uh, we only got him here on Thursday, so we'll just we'll keep adding stuff to his menu there. Anyways, uh, with that, time's yours. Andy, uh, <clears throat> you talked about knocking the rust. You know, players need to knock the rust off. Charles many of you hadn't played. Uh, what allowed him to be as effective? Yeah, well, he, <clears throat> when I say he wasn't in the mix, I mean, he hasn't played in a, a game for us other than preseason. Um, so, but what he did was on the six weeks off, he, he kept himself in shape. And he had a chance to see that today. Now, is he going to be sore? Yeah, he's going to – he'll be in the cold tub for a while tomorrow. Um, but he's, you know, he's a nice addition to the mix there. Andy, you were kind of joking, I think, about Kelsey a minute ago, but is he getting better with age? I think both he and Pat, are, they're on the same page. That's, that's, a, that's a challenge, you know, that's a challenge for defenses, and I know they, they work on it. This isn't like a secret, so they're, they're working on those things. Now, uh, that's when I say, um, you know, Matt and Joe, all the guys that are involved with that pass game putting together things, um, it's... It's quite a tribute to the coaches, and then for those two going out there and executing like they do. And um, he might be getting better with age. You and I can't say that, Adam, but he, we can't. <laughs> no. And the defense got caught with tempo. The Chargers run a lot of tempo in that first half. Yeah. Obviously, there's no difference in numbers between the first and second half, but do you think that tempo was responsible for any kind of delay? Yeah, so nobody hung, you know, they, they weren't hanging their heads. They kind of figured it out. Um, 
we had, had a plan for it. Um, and then they got us on a few. I mean, when I tell you, I mean, that's a good offense now. So, but the guys figured it out. And you, you look at the stops in that second half and uh, the pressure on the quarterback. I mean, that, that's an un, that was an unsettled position for him today. I mean, the, the guys got after him a little bit. So whether they were sacking him or hitting him, he had people around him all the time. So. Yeah, it was Yeah. yeah. Well, I'll tell you, it's probably both. It's a combination. They kind of know where the green lights are and where the red lights are with uh, the flexibility of the play, and they they utilize it. Long yellow light, right? So, go ahead. Neil. In the back. Yep, Neil. Coach, what does it do for your offense? You've got some guys all in the wide receivers game that they had a chance to make plays. What's that going to do for that group as a whole? Uh, listen, I think it's, it's great. We just got to keep growing here. You know, we've got to – Another AFC West team coming up this next week here. So, uh, with Denver, so and they'll have a, another plan for us. And um, but the guys, they they're working through all of that. And uh, this is a new road that you have a chance to play a team twice. All right, well that's a different thing. They know you, and you have an idea about them. Now what do you do? So, um, for the I'm saying for the young guys, but they're they're getting better, Neil. They're getting better. Last three, Coach Reed. You scored three touchdowns in the second quarter. Do you feel like your team found the best rhythm they've had offensively this season, and what was the spark of it? Yeah, yeah, I would, I would probably say yeah. I mean, it was a productive day. Um, we we still got to get rid of some of these penalties. You know, we get rid of a couple of those things, and uh, we'll really have something going. But um, I thought we were, it was productive. Uh, it was a great plan, and and with, you take away some of the little mishaps there with the penalties, then uh, you get, you've had a pretty good day. You know. Yeah, yeah, it's a tough thing. I mean, he's been away for six months or so and uh, going through all of their learning that offense and then coming back to this and uh, not easy to do. Uh, but uh, McColl is real smart. Uh, so he's a, he's a smart kid, innately smart kid. And so uh, it wasn't hard for him to jump back in and pick up a few things uh, that we had in the game plan and, and roll with those. And just the importance of answering with a takeaway, like it's not a yeah, yeah, that and a nice drive. You know, I was telling Ted that those are those are plays when you have those. Those are it's hard to come back and use those plays. You've already used them to get there, and, and uh, you kind of throw them out the window with turnovers and penalties and that. So, uh, but uh, for us to come back and do what we did after that was a good thing. Yeah. All right. Thank you. <clears throat>